Okay, we are live.
a very good evening to you all mm -hmm. on uh, behalf of shurendranath college i dr aditi sarbajna uh, welcome you all to this awareness program role of intellectual property rights on uh, technology transfer so this webinar has been organized by the star departments of shurendranath college namely department of zoology botany chemistry and physics and it has been sponsored by department of biotechnology government of india under the dbt star college strengthening scheme now i hope that at the end of the webinars uh, you uh, the participants will have the awareness about your own rights and means to protect it so uh, without uh, much saying i would now request our principal dr indronil kaur to inaugurate the program and introduce our esteemed speaker over to you sir dr indronil kaur thank you aditi am i audible yes sir thank you once again uh, very good evening to everybody attending this webinar and including the the participants and also the organizers i really i am very happy that we have selected such a wonderful topic for organizing this webinar the this webinar on the intellectual rights is really a tricky area where we we have seen the juggle of the problem when the rasgulla patent was becoming a really fight between the state and joining states but finally it was our team uh, which got the patent right of the patent and finally we have we have observed today we have with us just a minute today we have with us dr mohan hom choudhury scientist c and nodal officer in the patent information center west bengal state council of science and technology department of science and technology by and biotechnology government of west bengal she graduated from in chemistry from calcutta university and did her btech and integrated phd in engineering from jadavpur university she holds the phd in engineering from jadavpur university she is the coordinator of gi project of west bengal and nodal officer coordinating of patent information center she coordinated fi filing of 24 gis of the state that includes bangla rasgulla which i was talking about in the inception she is registered patent and trademark agent and fa and facilitated filing of more than 150 patents she was also associated with plant variety protection of 24 rice varieties of the state in this case i should just mention here that in west bengal we i understand that we have more than 400 varieties of rice and some are really very difficult to i i, I don't know they still still the, their patent have not been taken and it is only grown in this area i can just mention one which i normally grow in my field that is raghuni pagul which is normally found in the north chovis pargana district again i I'll, let me come back and she has mentored 30 startups of the state she is engaged with ipr activities of the state for the last 21 years in patent information center and she has actually she has almost about 40 uh, uh scientific papers in her name and some books she has also published on ipr and gi in the field of bi biochemical engineering she is associated with iit kharagpur in various capacities and also she is associated with various other means academies and sciences and other areas and she has she has coordinated 30 projects on geographical indication registration of the state 92 authorized user protection she also coordinated potentiality of assessment of 770 projects in the state presumably she is the coordinator of 
sorry, presently she is the coordinator of PG Diploma course on Intellectual Property Rights and Technology Business Management and Technology Development Adaptation Center, Department of Science and Technology, Government of West Bengal. With this, actually, I would say that in Surendranath College, ours is a 137 years college, and we have taken up a mission mode uh, activity related to the 150 years of our institution. In that, we have also played, we are, we are also actually thinking about having an innovation center for the students and the, their innovative ideas can also become a startup. Maybe uh, Dr. Hom Choudhury's help and ideas and also mentoring at points may be helpful for those young youngsters at uh, one, one way or other. I will be hoping that our, uh, the, our association with Dr. Hom Choudhury will be a longer one and her wide experience in this area will definitely pave the way for the younger generation to churn their brain and come up with newer ideas and execute them in the field with the help of people like Dr. Hom Choudhury and others. Thank you very much. With this, I am actually, I, I understand that all the stu students and the participants are eagerly waiting for Dr. Hom Choudhury to speak on. With these few words, I would request Dr. Hom Choudhury to take over and tell us and update us about the different, uh, uh, about the patenting methods and other areas which you are actually in intellectual property rights and you are going to discuss today. Thank you very much, Dr. Hom Choudhury. Welcome to the platform. Good afternoon, Honorable uh, Principal, Honorable faculty members, respected uh, to faculty members and others. I take this opportunity to thank you for inviting me in this forum. And already principals have covered why IPR is so important. And you got some idea why is today's lecture is so important. As we are in technology frontier, but in each time, we have to cover many things. So with all these uh, few words, I want to start my lecture and I'm sharing my slides. I think uh, you can see. Yes, uh, go to uh, screen. Yes, ma'am. It's visible. I think uh, it's visible now. Yes, ma'am. So today we find out uh, that what is intellectual property rights and how it will shape our future and what are the challenges and perspective related to this. And I have structured my presentation in that way. What is IPR, why patent, why artificial intelligence is so important in today's technology frontier? and other forms of IPR and patient analysis. Before start my lecture, I want to provide you a simple example of Dr. Amruta Gadge. I hope you all have read in this COVID situation, Dr. Gadge have done some impossible things in lab. She has created a Bose-Einstein condensate remotely in the lab. If this Bose-Einstein condensate can be prepared in the lab, what problem is solved today? I think you can easily imagine as Bose-Einstein condensate is very much essential quantum theory, which is essential for space research. And if we can prepare this in remotely in a lab, then what a revolution will happen in future, we don't know. We can even imagine as because even in space, in the space, using this Bose-Einstein condensate, we do our research, we can promote plant growth and everything. 
so it's a imaginary world in our mind but it will happen so today in the post covid situation what are the grand challenges i think you all know that this kit innovative ppe new trade composition to fight corona mask innovative mask innovative gloves innovative ventilators new transport system obviously robot why as because touch free delivery of food delivery of medicine was so important so robot is very much important in today's technology frontier and i want to sh share some screen on this uh, video please be patient i am sharing रेस्टोरेंट and it was installed and this startup was promoted by our department in different forum and they have started work since 2016 and within 2019 they have prepared this robot so i want to mention this for the students and uh, those who are in this field that uh, students like you they are enjoying to create new things robot like these things it was created by this startup who is speaking in that uh, i am not continuing it is a big um, video but i want to mention here that a startup like origin the think again lab he is of 26 years old and he has created all this uh, think again lab and this startup and started his work in the eastern india so we have many success story with us so with all these few words i want to mention that intellectual property is basically creation of mind it is it may be invention it may be literary invention it may be symbols it may be artistic work so the concept of property is totally changed in today's technology frontier act intellectual property that means product of mind is important in today's technology frontier why as because all of us we are in this system what is that we are universities we are in research organization or we are in service provider or we are in funding organization or we are in big companies or we are in support organization so we all are in this loop so what to do we have to create ideas invention and research and grow the startup at various stage and promote entrepreneurs startup team members 
investors, mentors, advisors, and with all this capacity, we have to help the startup to promote their idea. So, I think you all know India is a lot of talents. These are the key players in India. Flipkart, Amazon, all these. They all are startups. And this first growing area, we are facing major competition. So how to cope up with this competition? If we look to the Indian startup trend, we found that Indian, uh, most, most startup resides in Bengal, Bangalore. That means 41% resides in Bangalore, not in West Bengal. We are far, far behind. Why? We are not cultivating intellectual property. We are in the problem area. We are facing poorly planned roads, logistics, and all is with us. However, in 2017 global trend, we can see Bangalore is in 28th position. And Delhi is in 21st position in overall startup trends. But in West Bengal, we are in no position. So what to do? We have to have new idea, new innovation. Then this idea need to convert it to technology. When it is converted to technology, we need to scan it and judge whether the feasibility of this technology is there or not. If there is no feasibility, then you have to modify, modify this technology and develop new technology. Whenever you modify new technology, then you have to search for whether your idea is patentable or not. If your idea is not patentable, then why you are interested for marketing it? As because your competitor will down your idea. So you have to be unique in your area. So what is important? IP protection mechanism and its management. Now we have to think for market plan and commercialization. So these excuse are me, ma'am. Excuse me, madam. I mean, to yes. interfere, Kochi. Bolchi ki je ai PPT gulo PPT presentation ta na khub baje aste. Mane hoy mission black street passe. Amar mona ekono signal problem er jonno hotse hotse. Apni jodi ekto video ta off korin, ek bar ekto dekhbe na check korin. Okay. I am I am stopping. Then I am again starting. Okay. Yeah. 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 Optimization uh, box ta uh, unclick kore din. Jeta hoy share je prothome optimization. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. Is it okay? Is it okay? Yes, yes. yes. Visible? Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay. So what is the three to five years roadmap? That is from research to technology marketing. This is the roadmap of technology marketing. Suppose we have some new idea. However, if it is a new idea is there, we have to prove it. Proof of concept or prototype development is necessary. However, for filing patent, prototype development may not be necessary. How for marketing, you have to develop this prototype. And what are the validation period? It may be three to five years. After validation and engineering research, it will come to market. And you have to judge your product, whether it is patentable or not. So in today's context, 6P is very important. What is the 6P? Proper research, proper paperwork, proper pricing, proper publicity, proper partnership, proper people's acceptance. I have had one P with this. What is that? Protection. That means intellectual property rights protection. 
all of us have intellectual property however we don't know that we have intellectual property that is the main problem with our system so these are the technology transfer process already i have mentioned you have to research and development you have to assess whether your research is new or not what is the information you need and how to collaborate with other institute and to make innovation unique you have to search patentability assessment you have to provide patentability assessment report otherwise you will not be able to encroach in uniqueness area so what are the forms of protection ipr is a general term covering patent copyright trademark industrial design geographical indications layout design of integrated circuits protection of undisclosed information so i am trying to cover in a nutshell all of these that means at the end of this lecture you understand that patent is a different intellectual property rights copyright is different trademark is different industrial design is different even gi gi is completely different from patent like bangla rasgulla was registered as gi and uh, our technology that our new technology was patent that means gi or geographical indication is grant for this invention that means it is their technology their invention and our invention is patent so today we will look at proper road map for research i think you have all have an idea in 1944 western diplomat in order to reconstruct their world john economics made at bretton woods new hampshire usa to construct the post war international monetary system and the revival of gold standard was in offing and during that time 23 country formed world bank afterwards world trade organization was formed and 1967 world intellectual property organization who monitors all over world intellectual property is the body that body is situated in geneva in switzerland now i come to the point what patent is basically patent is a grant for an invention by the government to the inventor in exchange for full disclosure of the invention patent is a grant for an invention not for a discovery suppose you have discovered some new plant from your area that new plant is not a patentable item and this grant for patent is given by government to the inventor in exchange of full disclosure of the invention what is that full disclosure means that means you have to describe your idea however when you dis describe your idea don't mention exact temperature exact pressure exact specification as because this is your know how that means it is your trade secret it is another intellectual property rights and india there is no system to protect in india not india in internationally for trade secret there is no legislation so that is why it is kept secret in your mind or in your notebook or in separate way likewise coca cola company maintain their trade secret in 2% and these two person don't fly in the same flight so trade secret is also your intellectual property and it should be kept in your mind and in a different way how about now i have come to the point patent patent is a grant for an invention by the government to the inventor in exchange of full disclosure of the invention to debar others to exploit the invention for commercial success for limited period within the geographical boundaries of the nation that means if you file your patent in india it will be granted in 
India. And your right to sell, to make, to use your patent will be in India. There is no global patent. However, there is a system which is called Patent Cooperation Treaty. Through this system, patent can be filed worldwide in 142 to 150 countries. Who is the member of this Patent Cooperation Treaty? Now, what are the criteria for which patent will be granted? There are three important criteria through which patent will be granted. First, an invention will be novel if it does not form the state of art. That means it should be novel and no one knows your idea before you filing your patent. That is why we always mention don't disclose your idea in any forum. First, file your patent and go for publication. However, if you publish your uh, content in any forum, if it is government forum, then you can get one year grace period for filing your patent. However, we always advise don't publish your work before filing patent. Otherwise, your novelty will be loose. And it will be in the state of art. And the second criteria is inventiveness. That means invention must come through some inventive steps. And then comes usefulness. Invention must possess utility for the grant of patent. That means if you prepare some biogerm, it is not industrially applicable, then it is not patentable. So I'm giving some examples so that you can uh, get an idea how patent will be granted. And it is the major challenge to grant your patent. I'm giving a, a, an example of patented invention. The invention can be a product. That means a door lock. A door lock is a product. It, it may be patentable if the door lock has new functional arrangement. The key has new design, inside design, so it is a different mechanical arrangement, then it may be patentable. And the composition of the lubricant used in door lock, chemical composition, it may be patentable. And apparatus, a machine for making door locks, it may also be patentable. A process, a method for making door locks, it is also patentable or any improvement upon it. However, if you prepare some digital lock, that may also be patentable. Though, however, you have to keep in mind that in India, software is not patentable. In India, hardware is patentable, software is not. So what patent office look for? Patent office always look for, go for filing immediately. Don't do it immediately, file your patent. I want to mention here Professor Acharya Jagadish Chandra Bosch. He was not interested in filing patent during that time. And what happened? Marconi patented the querer. I had the opportunity to judge two querer and I found it that two querer invented by Professor Achacha Jagadish Chandra Bosch and Professor Marconi was different. And during that time, patent was not so popular. Telegraph company requested Professor Achacha Jagadish Chandra Bosch to patent it. He was not interested. After repeated request of Swami Vivekananda, he made this patent in US and electrical disturbances patent. And it was supposed and it was uh, the first patent in US by some Indian. So before going to this, I want to mention that first patent, it was said there was in Greece, there was a competition where the king says uh, to make some delicious food. So one soup was prepared by some chef 
after this competition uh, the king said what do you want the ship then told sir i want that you provide me the permission to prepare this soup in your area and no one may be allowed <clears throat> to prepare the soup in your area and it was said it is the first kind of patent right as allowed in greece so there is different story i am just giving some example to make uh, you sure that any idea however small it may be if it has some inventive steps if it has some novelty it may be granted as a bit as you can see that alexander graham bell's model in 1876 now we make a tour to different years model of uh, telephone so you can see that this is the 1999 model 1928 1937 1956 1968 1992 and 1997 and lastly i think you all are with different models mobile now and you are also seeing this webinar through your mobile now this is the first model which was patented in us in the year of 1975 and martin coopers with his cell phone but when india get first uh, cell phone it was in the year of 1990 so we are 15 years late so we need to work hard to catch the bus not to miss the bus i'm giving simple example of patent for being any idea to be patentable need not to be a research lab so much of um uh, instrumental setup only the idea and it should be some tangible product if your idea can make some tangible product then this idea when it is written in the patent uh, drafting format then it may be patentable here i am giving a simple example of where simple one when it is modified and a small hole is incorporated in it then it is needle and all of us know for this needle there is a huge revolution in fashion world and when this wire is modified in a simple gem clip then it is a new patent this patent number is there so for a big uh, lab is not required to be a idea to be a patentable idea now i am giving the example of simple eater when it floats in the water grandfathers uh, grandparents always ask the child that don't use it as it has some problem of electrification don't touch the bucket afterwards someone developed this criss cross arrangement and four floating ball so that this simple eater can float in the bucket and it is a new idea new innovation then this company grant uh, applied for this patent and it was granted then comes waste can this waste can is huge in himalayan area and someone developed this designer chair and this designer chair when the processing of this waste can to this designer chair it is new it is innovative idea and it can be I think you may know this uh, new uh, bionic eye. Through this bionic eye, one blind can <clears throat> see, and his uh, huge royalty was earned by U.S. company. <clears throat> Now I'm giving you a few examples why we need. patentability assessment before start our research even start our research as because research should be patentable why not why we will do the same work and reinventing the wheel 
So before starting your work, you need to assess where you stand. Otherwise, the same work will be done by you, what has been done already by someone else. And you will be backdated in the technology frontier. So for this, we have done some analytical work on agriculture field, AI and agriculture. Why artificial intelligence? As because I think you all know, AI has a great effect in all area. There is different issues for that manpower reduction and all these things. But uh, we always need to cope up with new technology with a balance of manpower requirement. This AI will be operated by manpower only, and it will not obsolete the manpower capabilities. But it is for our variation, quality improvement, quality judgment, and even the symmetrical quality distribution. It is a machine, basically. So we have to use, we are using different machine. Likewise, AI in machineries, we have to develop. And we have found out that evolution of quality in fruit ripening is already filed patent in India. It's the Indian patent number. Multitasking agbot to reduce the human dependency for agricultural activities. Cultivation in a chamber using fuzzy logic in wine intelligent technology. So these all technology, all new technology has already been patented. So whenever you work in such area, you have to find out that who are your competitors and what are the micro field you want to uh, do research. That's because if you can find out unique field, then your idea will be innovative and you will get patent and your idea will give you the royalty as because patent will provide you royalty and you have the right to sell to market and to technology transfer. Otherwise, you cannot get the total effect of patent. And here you can see that AI in food uh, system, food cooking system, system and method for cooking food item, receiving a recipe, storing it in the uh, area, an automated cooking device, which is very important for those uh, women in this uh, technology for the frontier. So if this type of uh, automated cooking device is there, it will reduce our time, time involvement. AI and uh, health area. I think you all see um, that in that post COVID situation, how important AI was and the robotic system, non-touched food delivery system was very important in this um, post COVID situation. Uh, mm. Yes. I'm I'm sharing a new video, uh, so please wait. I'm sharing. Sorry, uh, I have to share some video regarding this.
visible. Now, ma'am, after Akono video Tashini, the screen test, Manajakan video touch a robotic nurse to serve COVID patients. What a bottle could minimize Hoyas, Choto Hoyas, a video to side. Now, is it okay? No, ma'am, Akono Ashana, no, ma'am. Uh, maximize kotha be mono chhe video ta ke? Okay. Yes, ma'am. It is. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Actually, this uh, video. Uh, I am starting again. This robot delivers food in this COVID situation in Chennai hospital. So you can see. It has been introduced to reduce the number of times a healthcare provider interacts with COVID-19 patients. I want to share this as because you can see that whenever we think of new invention, we have to think about industrial applicability. A staff nurse at the ward has been trained to operate And it was also devised by some startup. In that way, students may be encouraged to see this, this post-COVID situation, this robot helps a lot. Now we back to our presentation again. I think you get it. Is it okay? Is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So yes, ma now we can see that automatic food delivery system in the student. Yes. And now these are door to door food delivery is become more hassle free with the aid of AI. Now, with all these, now I'm going to the copyright. What is copyright? Idea can be copyrighted. No. If you have some new idea, then it needs to be in a tangible form. Otherwise, you cannot protect idea when it is in your mind. So it should be in a tangible work. The types of copyright in one work is the rights of the various, actually copyright is a bundle of right. It is a right of performer, right of producer, right of music director, rights in title song, rights of the broadcaster. Even for books, it is a bundle of rights, rights of the author, rights of the publication, rights of the person publishing the books and rights of the internet. And the copyright associated with software. I have mentioned that in India, copyright is granted for software. That means software is not patentable. However, if you prepare some hardware module with your software, then it is possible to get the patent. That means that dishwasher, that means the automatic washing machine. It is all the software clubbed with some hardware system. So if you devised any software club with hardware system, then it may be patentable. I'm giving the copyright very important things that adaptation of various rights. That means remix, even for uh, Rabindranath Tagore's work, we were in Vishwa Bharati when the copyright was about to end. And we have suggested that you can translate Rabindranath Tagore's work in different languages so that a new copyright will start. For book and for the writing skill, the copyright system for the author's lifetime plus 60 years. So we have suggested them that you can start and adapt Rabindranath Tagore's work in a new language. Likewise, whenever we write our journal paper, it is a copyrightable item. However, copyright is moral right. You have to be very careful regarding your copyright. So technology and, and innovation and literature all 
both can survive together. Now I'm coming to another important intellectual property rights. It's called industrial design. A mechanism for the protection of outward feature. It is called industrial design. What is that? It's the feature of shape, configuration, pattern. In Indian patent office, this simple design is protected. So your idea is, if it is very simple, you don't worry, it may be protected as patent or intellectual property rights. Likewise, in Indian patent office, the design of this uh, cup, design of this shoe is protected. It is the outward design, which is, which get protection in intellectual property rights office as industrial design system. These are recycling paint bottle. I'm giving some example of this also. Here you can see that Barkin versus Pratt. These two company registered these two design, but the first design is the same pattern of the lower design. So Birkin versus Pratt, place pattern was held to have been infringed. So whenever we have to protect the design, it should also be unique. It should be novel and otherwise, the pattern cannot be protected. So for industrial design, for different, different design of bottle, that uh, this bottle is with me. I think you have different types of bottle. This, 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 uh, this uh, lens cut uh, model of this uh, box, spectacle box. I think uh, you have different, different designs box. So I think this outward design, if it is different, then it may be protected as industrial design, as simple as it is. Likewise, this a small bag design, even mouse design, everything. Now the fourth one is trademark. Why the trademark is an intellectual property? As because a trademark is a sign that individualize the goods of a given enterprise and distinguishes them from the goods of its competitor. Like Coca-Cola company, PepsiCo, they have a separate different design, different color combination. For this trademark, when it need to be protected, it should be distinctive. It should not be descriptive. Likewise, suppose you have prepared some logo written as real leather, then it will not be registered as trademark. Why? As because it describes the product. What product? That means it describes that your product, product is made up of real leather. That is why it does not form the uh, characteristics of trademark. So whenever you form some logo, you have to be very careful. That means you have to be very careful in that way that it should be distinctive. No descriptive character is in there. Like glucose D here and double glucose D. I think you all are about, about these two products, glucose D hence product, and it was long back through in the market, but double entered into the market with same logo, same design. And what happened then? Then hence sue double in the court and double lose the things. And afterwards, double changed this design. And this boy with all this football and all this design has been incorporated in it. However, during that time, the world was used to this design, used to follow this design, father, mother, and the boy. And like I think you have all seen Borolin, Boroline, like me, like me. These are the infringement or passing off. It should not be like that. Now I'm giving a small example of GI. Why GI is so important? I think you all know the Basmati rice and it was taken by rice stick company in 1997 in USPTO. 
and it was patented there. During that time, there was no legislation. And after three years, in 2000, CSIR scientists, uh, they know that our product has been patented in the US. And after a long term struggle, this four claim of our Bhashmati was revoked and Indian scientists own it. And the name also changed. Previously, it was named as Bashmati Rice Lines and Grains. Afterwards, the name changed and it was named as Kashmuti. And this Bashmuti get GI in the year of 2016. In 2001, there was rule, GI rule. GI Act was established in 1999. So during that time, there was no protection system to protect our biodiversity to protect our traditional product, agricultural product, traditional technology. And that is why Tarmaringi was also protected in USPTO by our scientists, Shumon K. Dash and Horihar P. Kohli. And we have found out that in these documents, Magjanol Advia, where own healing property was written, and for Bashmati rice also, in some uh, literature of Akbar, it was written that Akbar used Bashmati for Bhatshabhok. And that is why Bashmati was revoked. So we need proper documentation for any intellectual property right protection. Without documentation, you cannot prove your inventorship. So that is why documentation and IP management is very important. These are the different references for turmeric patent. So GI is a sign used in goods which have specific geographical origin and possesses particular quality for that particular geographical area. Like Darjeeling tea. Darjeeling tea is the first geographical indication in India. Why Darjeeling tea is geographical indication? At Due to the chilling area, it has different aroma. Likewise, Bodhuman Mihidan, Bodhuman Shita Bhok, Govinda Bhok Rice, Bangla Roshogulla. Bangla Roshogulla, we have proved that its quality is completely different from others' Roshogulla. And we have done scanning electron micrograph also to prove it in the court that Bangla Roshogulla is unique in its characteristics and it is a craftsmanship and more than one lakh craftsman is, resides in Bengal. That is why Bangla Roshogulla is our property. So I'm going to a simple example. Why, how is different intellectual property can be covered in one item? Yeah. This, uh, this watch may be protected as, this process constituents may be protected as patent. Is external feature is protected as design. If there is solar system is attached to this watch so that it can be charged automatically and it is basically a mobile system, then it may be a new invention and it will be under patent system. And Titan, the uh, trademark is Titan, Copyright is engineering drawing and trade secret is manufacturing no GI is Swiss watch. As you all know, the Swiss watch is worldwide famous. Another example when all this intellectual property may be covered is fruity juice. New process, new mechanism, new constituents. Suppose you prepare Mithapata juice, then it is a new patent because no one prepared Mitha Pata Pan juice killed it. And then the design of outside design of this Tetra Pak, it is a new external design. It may be protected as external feature. Copyrights is engineering drawing and Malda mango as because Malda is famous for mango and we have protected this Malda mango. This Malda mango is GIA, which is as protected as GIA. So in one product, different intellectual property is possible. I'm here giving the brand building through GI. Like Darjeeling tea, you can easily see this uh, logo 
and you can understand this logo is very important for understanding the Jilling team. Uh, West Bengal is sixth in position for filing GI all over India. Now I'm giving uh, how to get patent in a nutshell. So first you file patent in Indian Patent Office. There is a system called early publication or publication after 18 months. Suppose you are interested to early published your patent, then you have to provide the fees. Then they will publish it in patent office journal. Afterwards, there is a system of pre-grant opposition. Anyone can oppose your patent and request for examination fees you have to provide. And then your patent will be examined. If it is new, if it is novel, if it is innovative, then the patent will be granted. I'm uh, giving an easy way of filing steps. First, you write down your invention and come to us. We will judge whether your invention is patentable or not, because it is very important. A lot of money is associated with it. If it is a single invention, uh, its cost is less. But it, if it is institutional patent, it is cost is higher. And that is why before filing patent, you need to judge whether it is patentable or not. Novelty search and decide whether go ahead with the patent. Draft your patent application with patent attorney. Filing your patent. Then you can file provisional patent also. Suppose some new idea is in your mind. However, you are not prepared with all the data then you can file provisional application and you can get 12 months time to file complete specification. Within these 12 months, you can prepare your invention completely and you can file complete specification and then publish your application and request for examination. And when first examination report come, then if there is an objection, you meet up the objection and respond to objection clearing all objection, the patent will be granted to you. Here the point is there. This request for examination also may be early. Suppose you are a woman inventor, then there is a scope of early examination. Suppose you are startup, then there is a scope of early examination. So there is a few scope of early examination. Now, why patentability assessment? As because patent information is the gold mine information. 80% technical information resides in patent information. However, all researchers overlook this patent information. They only do search in literature. However, you missed many, many documents. That is why we are doing the reinventing the wheel. We are doing the research in the same area, which is not actually expected and should not be done. We should do that novelty assessment. So from this novelty assessment, we can assess recent development in any particular field of technology, trends of development, assess newer fields of technology, and who are they in your area, you can find out your competitor. Infringement in existing patents, prospective areas of investment. And technically, commercially, and legally, you can make your decision that whether you go for this research or not. That means you can find out the prior art and shortcomings of or the problems in your area. And then you can start your research on that problem area so that your successful solution will be patented. So for starting your invention, starting any research, you should do this patentability assessment. I'm not going the details of patentability assessment. I think almost uh, one year, one hour cover. However, I'm giving an interesting example of that. After turmeric patent was granted in US, we have done some patent landscaping 
analysis in India. What we have found, I want to share with you. That in India, total number of patent application filed in Tanmaric research was 344, and total number of published patent was 309, and granted was only 37. And these are the chronological fact from 1997 to 2016. These are the number of patent application filed. The interesting fact is that highest number of patent was filed by some private university, Amity University. And in Kolkata, only one patent was granted, and that is from Jadapur University. And I'm giving, these are the field where the most of the research is working on. Medical component having antiseptic, anti-inflammatory, anti-carcinogenic, uh, and antioxidant property, there are 18 patents were granted. So these are the major area where the most of the research is working on this primary. I'm giving some interesting area. Alternate fuel from turmeric. This research is going on Department of Automobile Engineering, Government Polytechnic College. So it's a new idea. So whenever you are doing search on your particular area, you are getting innovative idea and innovative research idea. I think for starting your research, patentability assessment is necessary. Here yeah, now I'm giving all over world wide, we have done patentability assessment on NIM. NIM also patented in USA. And we have found that 463 patent application applied on NIM. And India filed 157 patents. And number of patent granted in India was 75. These are the major area where the most of the research is working. Is that your year-wise distribution? These are the major investor in NIM research. Okay, so we are the, now I'm giving you from where you get all this assistance of this patentability assessment. We are the first patent information center, Kolkata. We are working here for last 22 years. I am working here for last 21 years in IPR field. And all over India, we are the category one center. And we have filed many, many patents. I'm not giving all these things, but I'm giving the simple examples of some grassroots innovators, some cases of grassroots innovators. It was very encouraging. You can see this lift. This was uh, invented by some group D. He was group D in directorate of youth service. And his patent was granted recently and this patent was granted by government of the facilitated by government of india and government of west bengal mm, jointly and fund was given by government of india so it has some credibility this is for residential use and these uh, is a patent invented by some farmer mechanical jute tribunal you all know that jute tribunal is a long term process but this uh, Krishna Padovishas, he has developed some jute ribboning system that within one minute you can ribboning a good amount of jute. Here is this burning inventor, Buddha Devsina. He has developed this leather shoe from waste leather in the Park Shakas area. That waste leather is modified in this type of product. So these are different types of invention. So we are the help desk for filing any patent application, novelty assessment, and holding and mentoring. We have started a new course. If you are interested, I think your faculty members, students, for the, your students and faculty members, the course fee is less. Postgraduate diploma. This diploma is started with Maulana Abul Kalamajad University of Technology. That's for student, faculty, university, and academicians, it is 20,000. And advanced certificate course, it is 10,000 in six months, and certificate for 5,000 for student, faculty, and university. I think you can opt for these courses. Uh, before the end, I want to mention, uh, Alice in Wonderland says, that which direction should I go? Yes, it depends a great deal on where you want to go. However, Alice says, 
but I don't know where I want to go. In that case, it really doesn't matter which direction you take. So I want to mention here, you have to take some direction, you have to click more and more patterns, and you have to file intellectual properties for your sake to protect your idea. This is high time, protect your idea and get more and more patterns. So if you have any query, you can ask. With all these rewards, I want to end my lecture here. Thank you. Thank you for patience, Ed. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. It was uh, really a uh, very enlightening and uh, enlightening lecture. We uh, got to know about uh, different patents, the process of uh, patent, applying the patents, uh, trademark, design, how to keep our trade secrets. And uh, it was uh, really, really, I think we have succeeded in uh, creating awareness among our students mainly that uh, what is our rights and how to protect it as I started. Ma'am, we have uh, received uh, many questions from registration itself. On, uh, some, uh, I will start with the question which is in the chat box. Um, Sonali Singh has asked that, uh, Ma'am, you have said a discovery cannot be granted as a patent. Can it have a copyright of the discoverer? Yes. Discovery, whenever you discover some plant, you can write different characteristics of the plant in a paper form. It is your copyright. And even you can file for copyright. If you already published copyright, that means if you published in journal, then need not to again file for copyright. Or otherwise, you can file for copyright. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh, another question is from one of our faculty members. Can ideas be patented in India? If so, what will happen if the person cannot uh, get the idea transformed into invention later? Idea cannot be protected. Just in my lecture, I have already mentioned that idea when idea from our mind or brain, it comes to a product, then it may be patented. If it is new, if it is novel, if it is inventive, if it has some inventive steps, if it is industrially applicable, then it is possible to grant better. Okay. So idea need to be have some tangible product form. Okay. But if that for filing patent, you need not to prepare the prototype. However, the idea should be in such a way in uh, so that uh, some new product will be formed afterwards. Okay, ma'am. Uh, another question oh, uh, which we have received is what is the significance of whistleblowers in IPR? Are they a source of violation to these rights or just a nuisance for the traders? Okay. Uh, I can't uh, follow. Please, please repeat. Okay. What is the significance of whistleblowers in IPR? Are they a source of violation to these rights or just a nuisance for the traders? Actually, vessels blowers, uh, they are basically nuisance for the traders. They are not the violation of right, they are nuisance for the traders. Okay, ma'am. Uh, another question is uh, from the register, uh, from your uh, topic, one of our faculties have asked that if, ma if the mango is not a uh, Malda mango, but from other place, then one can one claim for a separate GI? And uh, linked to this question, there is another question that what benefit does Malda as a Malda town gets if it has a GI tag on its mango? What is Malda's benefit? Uh, so actually, benefit when GI tag is given to a GI tag is given for a product. So who is producing this Malda mango? All these farmers will get benefit when their name will be registered as authorized user. They have to take the license also. Afterwards, when they when they market the product Malda mango, their GI tag will be encrypted on it. And as a customer, we know that it is the original product. It is the original Malda mango. Okay. That they will get the benefit of the premium price. Premium they price. Get... They will get the premium price and we will get the original quality product. Original quality product. And another, uh, another part of the same question is if the particular mango is not a Malda mango, but from some other place, then yes. can... Uh, yes, it is from be... other place, then the name cannot be used as Malda mango. Suppose Murshidaban mango is also popular. So 
So if someone have some documentation that in Murshidabad area, hundred years or more than hundred years, this mango is produced in some particular mango, then it can be protected as GI. Okay. Okay. And uh, whenever some trader market it as mango, it is okay. But they cannot use the name Malda mango. Okay. If they are not the authentic Malda mango producer. Okay. Uh, next, a uh, question has come. Can a person file a patent for some logo which has been used for government projects or schemes? No, no. Or a Cannot be person? protected. Government uh, projects and uh, uh, the different things where which logo has been used, no one can protect these. Okay. No, they cannot. Uh, the question is, they cannot file a patent for that particular logo. A single no, person, no. individual. Actually, it is trademark. Uh, 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 this logo is under the purview of trademark. They cannot file which is used in the government forum. Okay. No one, no, the government can file or government can register it. But okay. other person is not allowed to use this logo without permission. And they can uh, also file for trademark. Okay. Ma'am, uh, another question has come. In your presentation, you told that uh, software along with hardware can be patented, but not software alone cannot be patentable in India. Is it patentable elsewhere? And why yes. is software yes. not patentable in India? Actually, India is a big country. 135 crores of people is there. And software is minor variations uh, gives a new software. So every software, if it is protected, then it cannot be used. And there will be uh, a huge massacre here. So here software is not protected as because most of the software or algorithm, which is there, all is a, some minor variation in programming language. That is why it cannot be protected and it cannot be judged also. What is the difference between this app to that app? And that but is the outside of outside India. Outside is it is possible. And the different countries, different system, likewise, US, they have they are the developed country, they have huge money. They indulge all money for this patenting system. They don't even patent do the patentability assessment. They have huge money. They are filing for that. Afterwards, when it is uh, if it is not granted, if it is opposed, they will again indulge money and they will the, this litigation war will also go on. But in India, it is not the case. It is very difficult now getting patent. Hmm. Yes, okay. So, uh, here, another question is the how do we know that our product is unique enough to patent? That is why patentability assessment is very important. That they have a separate form, patentability assessment forms are there. Yes, forms are there and we are doing this search in Patent Information Center. It is the nodal center in the state government under Department of Science and Technology. So if you require any help, you come to us. We will help you. Okay. Uh, I think the students and our faculty members are encouraged now. So, um, and our principal sir has already said that he wanted, it, it was his vision to make an innovation center. So uh, that which, which is underway. And so, sir, ma'am, uh, I think we would be needing some uh, help from you in that regard. Uh, another question, how many, uh, one or two more questions can I take, ma'am? How much time do you have? Can I take? Okay, uh, okay, one question. Okay. If some instrument or some new technique was invented, made and published in a journal 15 years back, can it be patented now? No. I have already mentioned that if you published anything, it will not be patented. However, if you published in a government journal in within one year, then it is possible within one year, mind it. However, if you published something in 15 years back journal and you have not published the core specification, optimum temperature range, optimum Presentation, that means where the invention is there. You have only prepared the review papers. Then you can come to us. We will review whether any patentable thing is there or not. We have to review them. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, last question. Uh, I think one of our students has asked this. Is there any book where I could get some knowledge about IPR in depth? And what field does it come into? Like, 
Actually, intellectual property right is in the interdisciplinary. Until date, uh, there is different types of book. IPR by Professor Prabodh Ganguly. You can read this book. Tata Macro Hills book. Everything is there, and we have some uh, few books uh, which we have prepared. So if you and even you can register our course if you are interested. As there is also opportunity for for engineering and science students being a patent attorney. As because I think in future it may uh, it may flourish this area. So from there, from the course also you can learn. But Dr. Professor Prabhu Ganguly, you can note down in Google Patent. If you search, you can get his books. And uh, Tata Macroil has some two three books. And TIFAC Technology Information Forecasting Assessment Council. In their site, there is some question answer uh, where from here. you can get the idea even in bigan shathi faq uh, there in intellectual property rights section you get some idea about this ipr okay ma'am thank you so much uh, thank you for your uh, patient answering the questions and everything now for the uh, before is there any left the... no ma'am uh, oh. i think uh, we have covered i have covered all the questions and uh, with this i end the question answer session and before going into the vote of thanks session I have a small announcement for the students and the participants. Uh, we our feedback link has been given in the chat box. Please do fill the feedback uh, link, and the link will be active right from the after the end of the webinar till 11:30 p.m. tonight. Shade agar utar modde feedback link ta kindly bhore deven. Fill up the feedback link carefully. That is, write your name. properly because that is what will come up in your e certificate if you fill it up carelessly and if your name is wrong the e certificate's name will also be wrong okay so fill up the feedback form in the chat box fill it up within 11:30 pm tonight and fill it up very carefully so that you can get the e certificate correct so thank you so much now i would uh, request uh, our uh, star uh, coordinator as well as our iqsc coordinator dr shuchandra chatterjee to deliver the vote of thanks over to you ma'am uh, dr shuchandra chatterjee thank you aditi <clears throat> am i audible yes yes uh, so a very good evening to you all our honorable speaker valued viewers technical committee members what the faculty from various institutions and my beloved students thank you all for choosing to be with us in today's awareness webinar role of intellectual property rights in technology transfer organized by dbt star departments of surendranath college it is a great honor to us that you all have opted to be here today in such wintry evening instead of enjoying outside and now that we have come to the very end of this lively virtual gathering before we wind up just a few words of warmth and gratitude on behalf of dbt star family of surendranath college first of all i extend a really hearty vote of thanks to our honorable speaker today dr mohua hom choudhury for her very informative useful eloquent and lucid revelation dr hom choudhury your content today has definitely helped the audience faculty and students alike to understand the very basics of copyright and patent issues and their inevitable role in transfer of technology uh, this uh, acquired knowledge is surely going to help us all in the long run thank you madam once again for coming here sparing your most valuable time in spite of your busiest schedule thank you immense yes. thank you ma'am we are immensely grateful to our college authority the governing body for their motivation and support and respected principal dr indru nilkar for always being the catalyst that stimulates us to do our best thanks are due to dbt department of technology government of india for granting us this fund we are really indebted to them sincere gratitude to all the members of our dbt star family and all my amazing colleagues both teaching and non teaching of this college it is always a pleasure to work every day with such lovely 
and engaging people. I compliment all the devoted members of our technical team for their sincerity and tenacity. I cannot thank every one of them enough for their involvement and dedication in organizing a fascinatingly long list of webinars one by one during this lockdown period. Next, I must thank all our loving students for showing great interest in this webinar. Their spontaneous presence, no doubt, has made today's program meaningful in real sense. And last but not the least, I thank all the valued viewers from different organizations. We really owe you a lot for being with us in this program. Without your active participation, such type of event would not have been possible. So with these, it's now high time to conclude. Hope to see you all again in similar programs in near future. Till then, goodbye. All stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you one and all. Thank you very much.